Can I first of all have your name, please? Me. I'm Stephen Pickering. Yeah. And uh, what are you doing here? Uh, two things. I've come to bring my wife. Uh, she sings in the Ken Chorus, that's the community choir. Um, and secondly, I've come to chill out and have a pint. And I've also come to pick up some information at the... Um, oh, I don't even know what it's called. Got a bit of paper. Lost a bit of paper. Um, the film project which is being run in the area. Lost my bit of paper. Anyway. Uh, and the information gathering bit is at St Ninian's. I'm going to go along there shortly. Right, because that's what I'm filming at the moment. I'm filming for. You're that filming project. for that, right? Okay, right. Yeah, didn't think I would tell you that until later. Right, right. Okay. Now I know. Yeah. So plus, plus, I'm here for the beer uh -huh, uh -huh. and the food and the crack and and uh -huh. uh, some music. What is it about folk music that interests you? Whoa, big question. I've always loved the melodies ever since I was a kid. My dad used to listen to a lot of different kind of folk music, Robbie Shepherd and that kind of thing on the radio and Gaelic Psalms. Um, I was always interested in music and just something about, you know, some of the early tunes, Joan Baez, big influence early on from my sister. Um, and I took up the harp very early on and got involved in Gaelic melody and Scottish melody there. And just, I love the tunes, I love the melodies and the feel of it. Mm -hmm. Anne and I have been talking about, you, you asked this question, Folk music is, is, is based very much in the past and very traditional in, in many ways and yet it has a real appeal now. Why do you think it has and why do you think it's still going to have a future? It's interesting, we're just doing some schools workshops and I always say to the kids folk music was just the popular music of its time whenever it is and but if you say pop music now people think very commercial. Uh, folk music can be getting a bit commercial but still not no way as bad as the whole pop industry. Um, for me, I think folk music, I love the carrying stream idea that it is a tradition that you're carrying on, but you still have input. See, a lot of the tunes that I play and songs are written now. So for me, the tradition is still happening. I've been very involved in teaching youngsters right from early on, taught at what was the RSCMD in Glasgow in a degree course. So I've been involved at a lot of different levels from complete beginners to graduates. Uh, in the music scene and I've seen how it has changed so much from when I was learning when it was you know just a few people in, in Scotland really playing to this massive explosion um, of harps is what I'm talking about so specifically with harps but in the traditional terms of sort of revival um, it changes like it's not so much based on there are folk clubs now but there's more festivals probably that the dynamic of it changes but I think that'll just come around again because I see so many young people who are really interested in traditional music that will always carry on whether you make a good living at it is kind of hard there's only so many will make a good living at it but as an interest thing I think it will it will carry on it's it's very healthy it's partly why I like doing a lot of workshops here is to encourage younger people to come in and get involved and see that it's a social a social kind of music that's what folk music is to me social music what is it about folk music that draws you? Um, basically, the uh, the camaraderie and the the tunes. I like I like a tune that moves me, um, and if it's uh, a good foot tapper or a nice slow air, both can do that. And uh, it's nice to be able to do something just with a, a very basic acoustic instrument, rather than have to rely on a whole lot of paraphernalia. But for me, folk music's a lot to do with um, the the words and the. Well, that's that's an element of it. Uh, we, I mean, if you're following traditional song, then that's certainly the case. You know that there's a there is a tradition passed down uh, uh, orally, uh, singers telling uh, with narratives, um, which is it's great. Uh, I enjoy that too. But it's not what I do most of the time. And, uh, and if I'm enjoying myself, then. I like to play yeah. traditional tunes and we do it for dances, you know, Kaylee dancing and the like. So it's a real buzz if you can see people enjoying themselves while you're playing music. So. How do you see the future of um, sort of folk music? Um, it, it, it's, it's strange because it's probably more popular now than it's ever been. It, it, there was always the, the, the thought that perhaps young people weren't taking up the, the cudgel uh, and it was just going to remain the focus for old grey heads like myself or, <laughs> or bald heads like myself but uh, there are more and more young people now and there seems to be insti institutions set up to encourage people to play folk instruments 
and, and sing traditional music. You know, there's places like Glasgow, Edinburgh, even up in Liverpool. Uh, all over the place now they're encouraging uh, this type of, uh, of music. So I think the difficulty lies where people try to, yeah, younger folk try to take that to another level if they want to try and make a living out of it. Um, then traditional music as yet yeah, still doesn't allow, has, it doesn't give the market for these people to make a living out of, so they have to cross over to something else. So it ceases to become tradition. Tradition always seems to be self-defining and it will move back to this kind of thing where people are sitting about and just singing songs to each other. Um, when you take it to the next le a level where you're trying to make a living out of it, it's, it's only very few and far between that somebody can do that and they have to travel abroad usually to be able to do it. It works on a lot of different um, levels for me. There's um, some looking very into the future and some looking back. I think our future is also in our history. So, Could you explain that one? It intrigues me. Not really. We are made by the history of our country and that sort of thing, and it, it just keeps going in perpetuity. Like, you know, it. Uh, and um, the history has made us what we are today and it will make us what we are on earth in the future. Basically, I think and that's the way it right. And do you think that comes through in the music? I the think songs? it comes through in, especially in folk song. Especially in folk song because uh, it's um, basically folk songs about the people, about the land, about the history, about the beliefs. So, it, you know, it, it involves everything. We've got everything. Yeah. yeah. So, what is it about folk music that draws you? Oh, it's it's just that the gathering, the energy that they bring, and we know lots of local musicians that are here as well. So that's really nice. Uh, I, I don't know if I'm a real folky actually. I it's just I mean, enjoy listening to, to good music, and there's lots of that about. Is it the music or the lyrics? that you go for? Uh, it's more the music, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. Sometimes I find the lyrics difficult to understand. But, so it's the music, yes, and, mm -hmm. and I enjoy the Kaylee dancing as well. That's, that's great fun, so you know, that's... What's your attraction with folk music? I mean, is, is it the words of the music? What is it about? To me, I, I'm really interested in words because I sing, so words matter a lot to me. I think that music, you have to sing or dance to it. If you can't do one of these two things, I don't see a lot of point. <laughs> what do you sing about? Oh, I sing uh, Scottish, Irish, traditional, Robert Burns songs. Um, I play the five-string banjo and sing, and sing unaccompanied. Mm -hmm. so. Do you do your own material? No, I, I don't write songs. Right. I leave that to my brothers, they both write songs. But I, I think that everybody um, that writes songs needs other people to sing them. Uh, if only the writer sang them, they would die with the writer, so I sing them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> what, do you, what attracts you to a song in, in the words? What, what is it about it? I like a message or a story. It's got to, a good story or a message. Which would be an example? Well, a message like your daughters and your sons um, is a message about we're singing what we want is to give our daughters and our sons freedom and justice and equality and peace and that's a message you know and lots of the ballads have great stories usually love stories some of them you know tragic but uh, a good story makes you listen and the way somebody sings it because you've got to live it when you sing it and that's what that's what puts it over so can you see like folk music is it's rooted in the past but can you see that it can be useful for the future as a message. Oh, I think folk music's the present to me because it's what people are singing now, what the folk are interested in mm -hmm. is folk music. So, uh, yes, there are songs that have been about for hundreds of years, but it changes and the way they're put over changes as well. And although we want to retain what the, these songs have been for hundreds of years, there's always something new. And people are always writing new songs and there's always new music, but there's a new way of putting things over as well. So it changes constantly.